I don't ever want to lose. The pocket flips it over the middle, caught by Kyle Pitts, 40. Down the far sideline, 50. When I can control me competing and me getting in his head, me saying certain things to know that when I say this to you, you might mess up. It's just like that, but it's all fun at the end of the day. So you're a little too serious out here. Right. So Like it's not a game to you no more. Right. I'm that's that's why I was score. trying to explain to them. Yeah, well, this, you're not keeping score today, cat. Yeah, I am. All right. Yesterday I shot a, a 98. Today I want to shoot a 96. Just, you know, just always trying to be better than, you know, my previous self or previous score or previous game. I am kind of quiet, but that's because I'm just, you know, locked in on, you know, whatever's going on. But off the field, I'm, I'm kind of easy going. I'll say out here, I'm definitely talking my most trash. You know, if you catch me out here, then that's when you, you know, get my real personality. Nigga, that thing. Do y'all want to shoot him this way? Why would y'all shoot him this way? Go get in, Kyle. What you mean? Get in and go, just drive around them. Yeah, I'm finna faint right now. Look, I'm telling you, they, they be attacking them folk. <laughs> this is raw TV. <laughs> I think you might get the next Sugar. The people be feeding it, and I'm telling you, they expecting some bread. Oh, Kyle, get in. You want me to drive? Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, come on. Let's go. Come on, come let's on, everybody go, everybody go. Press the gate. You sitting there laughing like it's funny. I'm not playing. When and you come out here like five o'clock, it's feeding time. You, you good, you good is going. You in their house. You ain't thinking about no football right now. That's good though. When you come out here, you don't. Right. That's the whole. That's, point that's of the object of. Well, you know, today is a little different. But normally, that's yeah. why I was telling you come out here to decompress. But you come out here, <laughs> you trying to win. I mean, I get it. Why would I not? It's just a therapeutic thing. You all you hear is birds chirping. Occasionally a car ride by, but for the most part, it's just silence. It's just peacefulness. It's just away from everybody, everything. You know, nobody's bothering you. Phone's turned off, it's on silent. Just listening to jazz and blues and just relaxing. Golf, oddly enough, even though he's competitive at it, I can see it kind of cools him off. It's done him good. So, what do you do to relax then? Because this, you're not relaxing when you play this. Dude. I mean, you go out all in. I mean, you can still compete and relax. So you're just comfortable with, you're comfortable with, with competing yeah. while relaxing at the same time. You all can right. say the same thing about football. I mean, I hope he just stays at this level. I don't want him to, if he goes pro, so be it. But I mean, I, this is well enough for him. He has something to decompress with. Every swing, a lot goes into it. The mental part of it, golf is about just worrying about the next shot. In the front. I'm in the front, Kyle. Oh, I see what you what you do. Now open your legs up. Now just, there you go, swing slow and sweep the ground. Now I'm swinging too high. Swing slow. But if I swing slow, it ain't gonna go too far, right? Swing slow and hit the ball. That's all you gotta do. Slow. Zero patience you have. I'm telling you, this swing is, slow and you just like swing as hard as you could. <laughs> it's irrelevant. That didn't make sense right there, brother. Did you not start at one time? Yeah, and that was great when I first you started. You suck when you get the same way you, listen, the apple doesn't fall far. It was, I mean, it was, it was up and down. You know, I'm a, I'm a critic. I, I want him to be great just like he wanted me to be great, so. That didn't look slow to me. Cause I can hit it a little faster. <laughs> you give me backwards instructions, man. I'm just trying to give you instructions. You, 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 you gotta you, learn you by give, example. You gonna give me your best game, but give me zero instructions. How does that work? This is not my best game, but I'm just Come gonna on show now. you how to. Come on, if you, see, I see this, this is, So it feel good beat, beat your dad? It, Real talk. It feels amazing. It feels amazing. amazing. Okay, amazing. so eventually you have to come get on the water on the boat and then we gonna, we gonna even it up. That's we, unpredictable. Uh, I can be predictable with that. You can't make the fish want to bite the I hook. Can, I can. I'm just saying, you win in here. Let's you make don't it, win in those. Let's make the, don't let that rock trip fool you. You're going to listen to me one day, my guy. 
But today, just like but, I told but you, we're on the land right now. I told Let's talk you, about I, golf. I Let's talk about me whooping on you right now. Look, that's a that's an easy win. Easy win. Just, You're right. Let's, 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 so we, I'm gonna keep doing it. What are we here it. for? We here to, we, you. You built I'm me to be to competitive. Learn. That's a fact. So and that's, you should want to hear. You should want to <laughs> me to stop talking so much trash. I can't. I gotta eat that. I gotta eat that. When you're on the back end, you gotta eat that. The power of distraction. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. That's that's aggression. Man, all you gotta do is keep your head down. Look, he, he gonna get tired of walking. Head down. Wow. There you go. That'll play. Now you can take a happy walk to the cart, not a sad walk. This way. Now look. Uh, see, this is what golf will do to you. Hey, you mad on the hole. You didn't. You, you got yourself out of par's distance. Now you want to walk the whole hole. I was pretty humbling. I never got beat by my son like this before in any other sport, but clearly he's doing great with this now. So I got to pick my game up. So when you come back next year, hopefully and do part two, it'll be a different result for me anyway. The golf game you got, patience with me. I see you running thin, but you're doing better than I thought. You ain't start screaming at me. I ain't gonna scream, man. No. I'll break every club you got. And keep your head down. Do not look at the flag. Keep your head down. Boom. See? Second time again. Keep your head down. Now you're on the green. Keep your head down. Not up. Down. Got you it. get tired of me saying it. No. Yeah, you are. That's repetition. I'll be all right. We just flipped rows today. He was, he was, he was the frustrated one. I was the... Hard-headed one. Uh, kind of like the day when I said keep your head down and he'd keep picking it up. That was me. He'd tell me keep cleaning my room and I wouldn't. But it, it'll click after a while. And then you'll realize that, um, you know, he's telling you that for a reason. You don't. Now I see how you feel. You don't listen. That's a fact. Just your normal, average 10-year-old that didn't want to take the trash out, make his bed up. N nothing different that nobody else has experienced. It's just that, uh, he gravitated towards, that's the only thing he really listened to, was football. So do you remember when we was at Abington? And uh, you were in middle school and I told you, don't pick the ball up and throw it at nobody else. If they see you throw the ball, they're gonna make you a quarterback. And you kinda did it the day that I wasn't there, but make a long story short, they turned you to a quarterback. At that point, how comfortable were you with being a quarterback? I just wanted to be the star of the team. <laughs> yeah, but just, be I know I couldn't be no quarterback. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> quarterback was I it was I knew I wasn't gonna get far with that, and I mean, the switch was everything because I wasn't comfortable at quarterback. So when I got to a tight end, it was you know a dream come true. I could score. When I score it, the whole crowd go crazy. So that was something in high school I wanted to do. You remember the, um, the game when y'all played prep on TV? And I got busy on a slant. That was absolutely. That was my debut. But I knew your hands was good. Not wide receiver hands, but tight end hands. But, I already, but what did I tell you? I said, where well, you gonna make your money at? Catching the ball. But what position though? Tight end. Facts. So actually, I'm kind of lightweight genius though. Genius is, is a stretch. Okay, call it what you want. In, intuitive, yeah, maybe. Swing hard and keep your knees down. Your eyes on the ball. Stop playing. What? Oh my, say it ain't so. Thank you. Stop playing. Sit down, we right there. Which game while you was at Florida you think was the one that made your name ring, ring bells? Uh, I would say sophomore year was a good, sophomore year against LSU, I had a good game. That was when they won the cha national championship. And then first game of my junior year, when I came out the gate. Going to the end zone, Pitts has got it. Touchdown, Kyle Pitts scores.
scores it. Into the end zone. Did he hold on? Oh, what a grab. Trask into Pitt's hands again. Kyle to Kyle. And Pitts goes rolling. Touchdown, Kyle Pitts. That was the kickstart to that junior year. Um, I feel like that's when I was like, okay, I'm coming into the the player that I need to be in order to get to the next level. And I, that kind of gave me a little confidence booster as the first game. And then just it snowballing in the right way. They try to heat up track and what a catch by Pitts. Wow, he went stretch mode on that. I learned a different way of lifestyle down there, like a different culture. Uh, being mentally ready and knowing, you know, to be able to how to play in front of a big crowd. Trask, end zone shot, and Pitts got it. And Pitts able to rip it out of the air for the score. They got him ready. That's what Coach Bullen promised from the beginning. I said, how do you make a good player great? He said, I got it. I had to let him do what he did, and sure enough, it all worked out. Before you start. Well, fallacy. In the front. See the way. All right, that's cool. I see what you're saying. Swing slow and just get it over the bridge. Hey, get through there. Hey, 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 roll up on the hill. All right, then, buddy. Not too bad. Not too bad. At what point did you notice that you, outside of me seeing it, I knew you liked it? How did you know you liked football? I mean, when it just was, a, it wasn't a hobby anymore. It just was something I loved to get up and go do. It wasn't I just something that you forced me to go do, or something I felt like I had to do to shut my parents up. So, do you think I pushed you into it when you were smaller? No. Okay. Because you had a shot at basketball now. No, I didn't. Well, that's true. You no, did. I didn't. Now that's that's where you would have took my genius right there. No. With the fourth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Kyle Pitts, tight end, Florida. This is a unique player. It's the highest grade I've ever given to a tight end. The, the word freak is thrown around. This is a freak. Draft night was actually kind of, it was kind of unique, i say. It just was like so fast. I feel like once it happened, it all didn't sink in until like I went to sleep and woke up and I knew I had that press conference. I was like, oh. And that, that, it really did happen. Take, take it all in, bro. Take it all in. You earned this. And then it was just like, all right, now, now on to the next move. Now you're back at the bottom. Now reach, reach back to the top. You take a slight break. You get your little ham sandwich, little turkey sandwich. Then go at it for at another break. Run? Yeah. You ain't do that the last time. I mean, yeah, we're not going to get the full 18 in, but I'm saying that's how golf is. But you don't stop, though. No. You keep going. No, and then on a day like today, you could play 36. Everything that we did to get here is what he's going to have to do times two or more to keep on going for his longevity. When he came out the tunnel the first time, after, after he came out and he passed me, I was like, woo, and then after he got, then after that, I was, let's go to work. And then, you know, get a little goosebumps. Like, wow, we, we're all the time ago. He was just this big. And now he's this big. And he's running out the tunnel. I was like, woo, that's serious. I would say I'm looking most for steady progression uh, to just each week, each year, just keep getting better. But outdoing myself, myself. What a catch, Pitts on a stiff arm. Stays in bounds. Takes the shot for Pitts. Pulls it in. He's not doing anything I'm not, you know, surprised with. Because that's the way he's been since he was small. The ceiling is his, that's his thing. You know what I mean? Just like golf. I'm just now starting off and he's concerned with kicking my butt. Um, and he's doing a good job of it. Make a long story short, he's teaching me, oddly enough, like I was teaching him. So everything comes full circle. Pitts makes the catch, first down Atlanta. It's in stride, midfield. Just beating, beating everything that I want to get each year by you know a substantial amount. So that's just, just chasing greatness. Going to gun it across. Oh, what a catch by Pitts. One-handed, holy smokes. At the end, you take your hat off and you say, take my hat off and say, it's a pleasure playing with you. That's how you do it. That's, that's golf etiquette. Did you learn that? <laughs> uh, that's golf etiquette. Great game, son. I'll right. be back in six months. OK. Don't let the first game fool you. I will. Don't let it, the, that is, it's not much to fool. Don't let the first round fool you. 